All right, Draymond Green. Oh, my God. L. I love this man. What? I love this man defend, because... No, defend he's, your position. He's, well, I love this man because he gives us so much fodder. He's a ridiculous person. Draymond Green is absurd. He's ejected four minutes into the game against the Rockets, right? Uh, against the Magic. The Magic. Yeah. For yapping at the refs. Just D1 yapper. He's 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 yelling. If you're watching on TV right now, if you're watching on YouTube, you're seeing him right now. He's yapping at the ref, and then everyone's like, "Steph's lingering." Yeah. Steph's like, "Please don't do this, dude. Like, we actually need you. Yes, we are fighting. We for are a fighting play-in. for our lives. We need Draymond Green, please, sir. Please don't get ejected. Please don't get." And then Draymond just has to go there and says something else to the ref, which I imagine involved some mothers and some effers and yeah. some whatevers, and he immediately gets thrown out of the game. And then you see Steph Curry in his feelings, yeah. emotional, because he's like, I don't know what to do with this Afterward, man. He said, we need this dude. We need Draymond to be able to channel that on the court. But all he wants to do is flip the channels by getting kicked out and watching something else other than his boys, all right, win a damn basketball game. And the, the salt in the wound of all of this is that he was yelling at the refs, this is what started it all, over a foul call. That was a clear foul. On Andrew Wiggins. Yeah. It wasn't even, he wasn't even defending his own position. Correct. Oh, I'm so tired of this. This is his fourth ejection of the season. Okay, but here's the question here. Who's tripping more, Draymond Green for being Draymond or for the Warriors who continue to enable the behavior? I'm glad that you asked this, okay? They are both at fault here. First and foremost, I'm watching this play out, and I'm thinking, would any other adult in any other industry all right, still have their job if we're walking in our place of business and a basketball arena is their place of business, mother effing every piece of authority from this way to kingdom come. Now, there might be one person at this network who's allowed to do that, okay? But, like, we are not allowed to do that, sure. okay? So that's where I take issue. But, and then I thought about you in this situation, the Warriors are also to blame because let's say, for example, you and Omar are trying to teach Eva something, the do's and the don'ts, and she keeps doing the don't. All right, she keeps don'ting. Don't, 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 don't. But you just keep, for whatever reason, allowing her to do the don't. Well, then you're both at fault, right? Yeah, this is, I mean, listen, I actually went younger when I thought about the situation with Draymond. Like, this is who Draymond is. Younger than a right? I, 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 four-year-old, five-year-old. Well, my, my, my son, who's yeah. three, we have a snack cabinet at my yes. house, okay? There are all the snacks are readily available. Yeah. He is old enough and grown enough to go to the snack thing, open up the snacks and get them. If I want him to stop eating the white powder donuts all the time, mm -hmm. I need to put them on a shelf he can't reach. So you're 100% right. I don't I think this is absolutely on the Warriors. You can't continue to say like, "Oh, we need him and this is so unfortunate." I mean, Steve Courier, Steve Courier, Steve Kerr, who is the courier unfortunately right. for all of this mess. Uh, Steve Kerr said yesterday, like, yeah, he deserved to get kicked out. Yeah. You know? Draymond's tweeting afterwards, like, way to get it, dude. You guys yeah. bailed me out. Yeah, let's go, Dubs. Love y'all. It's the best. You just, you keep enabling this behavior by not, and I understand why on many regards. Like, you feel like nothing that he's doing is crossing the line that's so far that it's, he can't come back from, mm -hmm. right? Because he still means so much to his team. But this is just selfish behavior. And at some point, you've got to say, in particular, it's the moments that he gets suspended. Yep. It's the times that he gets suspended. The only reason that, you know, the Cavs have that championship probably is because Draymond got suspended. Like, he always finds a way in the biggest moments to make it about himself. Right. And uh, and you can't be mad at Draymond. He has told you. This man is in his 30s now. He's told you. This is me, sir. I've been suspended one million times. Like, I'm never going to change. There is something inside of him that goes there right away. Yep and can't be brought back immediately he just sees red this goes all the way up to not just the warriors enabling this this goes up to the nba i mean it was this season that he got suspended for an indefinite period of time and i think the the amount of games ended up being 12 so you know you have the commissioner speaking on draymond's antics that continue just to be antics and the warriors right now they're the 10 seed in the Western Conference. And listen, they're not going to win an NBA championship, but these guys are on the back nine of their playing career. You want to at least give Steph and Clay and even Draymond a chance to at least get in the tournament because then anything could happen. I don't think anybody wants to go up yeah. against a hot shooting Steph for a five, seven game series, um, rather. But Draymond is quite literally impeding his own team from well, it, getting to that point. Exactly. You can't want it more than Draymond they did, wants But they it. did win the game. They did win the game. And the ultimately, game. it's that kind of thing where he yeah. can go, okay, you bailed me out and we're good to go. I will say this, though. I don't think that the NBA needs to get involved for him getting
getting ejected for running his mouth. Sure. The NBA gets involved when he physically harms other people, like some people were calling for the other day when he choked out Patty Mills. Let's move on because you talk about someone that went after the refs. This is the only crazy. reason that Kelly Oubre didn't get ejected is because the game was over. Correct. Sixers down a point to the Clippers into the game. He drives for the layup. He clearly gets fouled by he got Paul bodied. George. It is clearly a blocking foul. Yeah. Straight up. Was a foul. You're watching it right now. I mean, it just doesn't get any more textbook than this. He just he jumps in front of him. I mean, Paul George left his feet. It jumped into him. Left his feet outside the half circle. And that might have been, I mean, probably not goaltending because Kawhi got it before it hit its peak. But, I mean, there's a lot of bad things that happened to Kelly Oubre in this play. So, of course, Kelly Oubre is mad because no foul is called. They lose the game. Nick Nurse is going nuts. And while Nick Nurse, his head coach, is going nuts, Kelly Oubre is just lined up all the refs. That's and he's crazy. like, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. Your mom is a bitch. And you're a bitch. Yes. It was pretty funny. And I actually think he's not tripping at all. I think this one's on the refs. Every game counts in particular right now. Yes. And for you to take that game because you just decided you wanted to get out of there, then, of course, adding insult to insult, they come out afterwards in the, what, two-minute report, and they're like, that was definitely a foul. We are yep. so sorry about that. But, of course, nothing's going to change. The outcome won't change. So I don't think he's wrong at all here. So I halfway agree with you. Up until like your bitch, your bitch, your bitch, that's totally fine. Heat of the moment, haha, that's funny. We saw it happen in half baked. That's cool. You're was, cool. It was yeah, You're yeah, cool. yeah, it was effy. But then, L, he went into the territory that professional athletes and adults themselves say you cannot venture into. Mm -hmm. You cannot include wives, spouses, children, or like parents, right? And this dude was like, your mom's a bitch. <laughs> Your grandmom's a bitch. Like, whoa, Kelly. You come from a long line of bitches. I get it, dude. But that was that was OD. I was like, this is entertaining. This is entertaining. Whoa. Some hands would have had to have been thrown in that in that <laughs> particular spot. Kelly Oubre is calling my mom a B word. I thought it was hilarious. I think it was a little short-sighted. Kelly Oubre is never going to get a call ever again because he literally called all the refs out their name. 